Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from somewhere in this world. And today uh, we're going to talk about installing one of the Phoenix Rising mods, uh, the Better Classes mod for Phoenix Point. And uh, I have the Discord open up for that mod right now. And there's a three-part install. There's the Better Classes mod itself, which I'll be downloading via Nexus, but you can always use the GitHub. And then there's two other um, attachments, the Modnix 3 Beta 3 that we'll need to download first, and then one more recommended mod that we will download last uh, to get this thing set up. As always, uh, don't have your game running. Make sure it's all closed up. I'll leave it up to you as to whether you want to turn off your own antivirus. So getting in here to the Modnix, we clicked on the link and it brings us down to the Modnix installer. Version 3 Beta 3, that's the one we want the exe file and we clicked on it and look at that look how <laughs> look how fast that downloaded now depending on the uh, browser you use you may or not you may be able to just click right up here uh, to get it going for you or uh, you can always uh, if you don't have this option uh, up here in your browser just close your your browser and come down and uh, open up in view your downloads file manually like this and just get in there and find our installer and there it is uh, and then we'll just double click on that and get it going and uh, windows is protecting my pc what do you know uh, we're just gonna click on the more info because we, we we know we want to download this and we will run it anyway and we will hit yes and voila, you can see the icon now appearing down below uh, uh, on the menu bar down below. And we just open that up and it shows the path that we, it will be installing the, the mod next to. And I do indeed have this version of my game on to Steam and that's where I want to install it. If you had it installed somewhere else and it did not find the right pathing, uh, just uh, scroll down and you will find it. Uh, right there where you can double click and change it to the proper pathing that you need but as long as you have the pathing correct we'll go and hit setup right now and there it is setup is successful modnix has been installed to the mod folder and you can always delete the setup if you don't want to play with it anymore and we'll, we'll get more into that as we go and what we will also do is we won't pin to start but I am gonna send a uh, a link to the desktop or shortcut to the desktop will show you how to do that just in case okay we can close our folder here or actually if you come down here we can go into the mods folder um, the pathing that we found and open it up oh I actually first before we open it up just right click onto it and we're gonna go down to send to and we're gonna send a shortcut uh, a, a shortcut to the desktop and we'll close everything that we have open right now and voila there is the shortcut now on our desktop and we open it up and this is the modnix page uh, that we'll be using it does give you the option up that there's a revert button you'll see uh, right there and you can take the mod off you know you, you can revert or you can reinstall should there be some future update uh, that may throw things off it is always recommended to reinstall um, after every kind of update uh, that the developers may send down so you can get to the ne next step of the Nexus mods by clicking down here and just searching in there uh, but what we're gonna do is we're just going to go back to the discord and go to the next link that we need and that will be uh, the nexus version that's where i'm going to download it from for the better classes mod itself okay so this is a, a few bits of information before you download just so you're aware of it we do need to have modnix 3 beta 3 which we just went through that process and we do need all mods uh, for all DL, excuse me, all DLCs are required uh, to run this mod, and um, then we'll be also, uh, well, well, we'll show you how to do this, how to add the mod 
uh, once we get this thing downloaded, but we just need to select the Add Mod button in Modnix when we're ready to uh, get it installed. So let's uh, get back up to the files. We'll do a manual download here. And you, you may need a basic membership. Uh, it is capped at two megabytes for, for download. So it, it's a free membership to sign up for, uh, for the two megabyte limit. And uh, everything here we're downloading today qualifies and fits under that limit. So we're gonna hit download and uh, get this thing going. And uh, it's just reminding us we, uh, this, this, this download needs Modnix, but we've got that installed. And uh, it pops up where you can do the free or premium. We, we can do it the free way. <laughs> well, that's my preference. And so now it is in, now Better Classes is in our download file. So just in case you don't have this uh, pop-up on your particular browser that you use, we'll just come back down uh, to Modnix. We don't need to open it up there. We're gonna actually open it up here and hit the Add Mod button right there. And we need to find uh, our download file. This is not it. <laughs> okay, so there is our download file, the main download file that we just downloaded to. And uh, there's the better classes. So we'll just highlight it, we'll choose it, and we will open. And look at that. It's now uh, part of the mod mix. And it gives you the ability with this mod in here uh, to make any config changes that it might allow also. Here's the description and there is the config button if any uh, changes are need, needed to be made this way. We, for me, for myself, I will not be making any changes to the mod itself. Now we're gonna uh, download the last little bit needed that is recommended uh, by the mod, uh, the makers of the mod, and that is this one, the return fire uh, a la carte uh, that we're going to download and it just tells you a little bit about what the, what this mod can do or does do return fire for every enemy everyone can retaliate not just the target and casualties and you can have different angles uh, for the return fire that are available okay so let's get back up here to the file and let's get it downloaded and once again, that's a quick download, quick file, and, and there it is. So we'll go back to, to the mod next. In fact, we don't need the Discord open anymore. We've used all the links I needed from there. We'll go back and add the next mod, and it's the return fire a la carte. Voila, we have the mod installed, and we also have the ability to go over to the config and um, make some changes. And if you recall, um, there was something we needed to check within this mod that was mentioned. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go back to the link and uh, just double check exactly what it is we had because, you know, the zigzag has a short memory. But we come down here and it tells us, um, well, that's not the one I wanted to see. Let's go up here to the, the mod here. We have to adjust its config setting to make sure reaction angle is 360. So that's what we're going to go into the config file under that one config tab in Modnix to take a look for. And uh, here we go. We'll choose the return fire. We'll go into the config. And as we look down here, down, 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 reaction angle 360, we'll get what? Guess what? That's what we wanted to change it to, but it's already that way. So guess what? We just confirmed that it's set up the way uh, it was recommended. And with that, we're ready to give it a go here. Now with Modnix, you, you can launch, my understanding is you can launch the game in Steam or you can just use uh, the, the ability to launch it right directly from Modnix. That's why we have the, the link to Modnix right here. So we're gonna go ahead and launch the game. So the big thing we're doing here is we're, we're just downloading the game so we can take a look at the class files that, that are in the game to make sure when we start a new game that it's all ready to go and it is the mod that we're running and not the base game. So uh, I'll speed things up as necessary. But you do want to make sure all the mods off to the side are checked and active. 
and let's get this thing going. And uh, as soon as the game's out there, we'll check our characters. I'll speed things up. All right. Uh, now let's get in here and take a look at personnel. Let's choose our first character. Good old Eli. <laughs> and there we go. We've got the new icons for the new classes and how all those will work. Now, if you've not read the background on the mod, uh, in, in the future, the near future, this is my first video I'm putting out about better classes. So we'll, we'll discuss some of these different classes. So be on the lookout for those future discussions on the channel. Yeah, via my community tab or via other short videos that I may do and in the near future we will actually be doing a playthrough of the mod and I hope I made that simple and understandable enough for any of you who may have never installed a mod before uh, if you have any questions uh, there's always the discord link that we've included down below or you can always try me in the comments just in case I might know the answer so there's a couple sources for you this is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again on some of my other videos.